When you shop local with Baconis, you're helping local community schools like ours too. Baconis, part of our community. Great to see Junior's back in Cairns, mate. Oh, mate, it's good, yo. Uh, the Super Seeds decided to take over the Junior class this year and mentor and help them out. And we had two cars next year, last year, sorry. We've got um, four here now. And next meet, we should have another three on board. And if anyone's looking to you know, get their son or daughter into the junior section, as long as they're 10 years old, come and see me because we've got a car there for sale. And yeah, we'll help them out as much as we can and get them into it, mate. Yeah, but this was the idea was why we wanted to come on because yeah, this is the heart and soul of Speedway, the juniors. And we wanted to develop them, bring them through. And yeah, they're the next generation. So we're getting there, mate. That's the main thing. So it's such a great sport to be involved with. The whole family can get involved. They can get racing in a sedan as young as 10 years, even younger in a go-kart, but definitely a great way to get out and about as a family. Oh, exactly. Like, um, all four have come from go-karts into the junior sedans, yeah, and they use the go-karts to get going and that. And here we've got Paige, and she's the only one that rear-wheel drive. Uh, Brent Chandler's actually down in Gippy at the moment picking up his new car. And um, like I said, we'll have three new cars next meeting. Tyler Allen, he bought uh, Brendan's old car, but he would have been here tonight, but he went home with the flu from school on Thursday and still too crook. But even though we got four, they've done a great job, mate. I'm proud of them. That's been entertaining. Nice. We'll grab a word with our juniors here. We'll start off with Paige Jordan. So all four drivers out of Townsville here. Had a bit of a banger last time here. Obviously, Dad got it sorted, but still battling a few issues early on here tonight. Yeah, we had power issues earlier tonight in heat one, but... Definitely happy after last race meeting that we got it all, that we're here tonight after last meeting. So very thankful to Dad and everybody else that helped out to fix it. Um, yeah. We're definitely starting to get the hang of it now. Have you ever raced anything before just straight into a junior sedan? This was the first step in racing for me. So yeah, pretty fun in a real wheel drive, I guess. That's awesome. Feature race coming up. Good luck. Yes, thank you. That's Paige Jordan there, granddaughter of Steve Jordan, as a lot will know. Our youngest driver in the field here, 10 years old, also out of Townsville, Huxley Jorgensen. You ready to go, mate? Yeah, I'm excited. Pretty excited, mate. A lot different to a go-kart, isn't it? Yeah, it's heaps different. So starting out 10 years old, mate, you've still got six years left in this beast. What's the plan after that? Do you got plans set already or going to stay in the sedans, do you think? Um, hopefully I'll stay in sedans. I really want to go into Dad's race car. Yeah, OK, Libby might have something to say about that as well. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, mate. Doing so well at 10 years of age. Good luck. Thank you. So another Townsville driver here, Kayla Adams, daughter of Sean Adams here, which a lot of us know. Ready to go? Yeah, it's going to be good. I'm excited. That's awesome. Another one of these drivers who have developed and stepped out of a go-kart into a sedan here. Another one. What's the plan? Are you going to go into super streets or maybe modifieds after you're done with juniors? Definitely follow Dad because I want to race him because he thinks he owns the joint when he don't. <laughs> Oh, fighting words early on here from the Adams. He's going to put it to Dad. Good luck tonight. Thank you. So Kayla Adams, another driver out of Townsville. Starting on pole, Libby Jorgensen. Gone unbeatable so far in 2023. Yeah, it's been really cool to say that I'm being unbeatable this whole, like, season. That's awesome. New car, obviously, definitely a lot faster than the old one. Seems to be unbeatable at this stage. Yeah, I love it. It's way faster, it's way smoother, and it has power steering, which is way easier than the trade. Bit of a cheater car there at the power steering. So obviously we spoke to you last time. You said once you finish with juniors, you want to jump into Dad's Cortina. It sounds like younger brother wants to do it as well. Lucky you got a few years ahead of him, eh? Yeah, luckily I'll beat him into it. And then hopefully while I'm out of it, I'll have a new car and he can get in Dad's car and have a go. Sounds like Dad's got a few Cortinas to build. Yeah. That's awesome. Starting on pole. Good luck in tonight's feature. Thank you. So that's our four drivers for tonight's North Queensland Junior Sedan. North Queensland title coming up now. So we'll get the drivers a minute to get in their cars and get ready. We'll be underway for 15 laps coming up very shortly. All righty, North Queensland title time for our junior sedans here at the Totally Workwear Can Speedway. Very feisty front row here between Libby Jorgensen and Kayla Adams in the T32 machine. So let's give them 15 laps. Green flag is out and we are away. 
Adams needs to put it to Libby Jorgensen early on and Jorgensen's going to be lights out and gone out front. So you see all the families on the infield watching Angels leave it. All these youngsters doing an incredible job to be racing at the ages that they are. So Adams up the inside now of Libby Jorgensen. But Jorgensen's going to try to get that car wound up like a rubber band up top and just carry momentum the whole way around. It's a slight mistake from Jordan there down the main straight, but she'll pull it back together. So as they run, Libby Jorgensen, she leads them. Kayla Adams runs second, and Huxley Jorgensen runs in third. With Paige Jordan rounding out the field there in fourth. So I spoke to Paige's father about that car, why she missed a couple races. He said he had a bunch of wires shorting out after the crash a few weeks ago. They got it going now. She's going to punt around the back and just get some valuable laps in. Is young Paige Jordan there in the T24. The time to go for your race leader, Libby Jorgensen. Kayla Adams still runs in second. The 10 year old Huxley Jorgensen also out of Townsville. He runs in third. Quickest lap of the race so far is 19.9, oh sorry, 19.278 out of Libby Jorgensen. Kayla Adams with a 19.9, so not able to match the pace early on in tonight's feature race, not for Libby Jorgensen. As all four Townsville youngsters do battle here for the North Queensland title. As the race leader, Libby Jorgensen now into lap traffic of Paige Jordan there. Paige doing a fantastic job to hold her line. Stay out of the race leader's way. Kayla Adams looking high on the racetrack. We'll see if she can find something up there right now and get the little charade wound up on the top of the racetrack. There's a mistake out of Libby Jorgensen in turns three and four. But Kayla Adams is struggling to get through lap traffic right now as Paige Jordan once again holds her line down on the inside and allows the leaders to get around doing a fantastic job as she turns her best lap with a 22.709 for Paige Jordan. Huxley back there in third, gaining valuable laps, gaining all the experience in the world right now as the 10-year-old does a fantastic job on a challenging track late here tonight at the Cairns Speedway. It's over just after 9.30. The weather is fantastic. It's about 17 degrees at the moment. The humidity is lower than normal. So perfect night for speedway racing here at the Totally Work Work Cairns Speedway. Slippy Jordanson ticks over. Seven laps to go in tonight's North Queensland title. This will be the biggest win of her career. The very early stage is off, but I think she's going to be around for a long time yet to come. Huxley Jorgensen's quickest lap there at 20.834. He's dropping his time. Kayla Adams, a gap back to Libby Jorgensen. 3.147, so 3.14 seconds. Off your race leader, Libby Jorgensen, in the T25 machine. Mistake from Adams in turns three and four there. It's a big huckabuck, nearly airborne, and does a little charade. As they go on to lap number 10. The gap goes to 3.6 that time around. As Huxley Jorgensen gets around Paige Jordan, puts her a lap down, respectively. 20.891 that time around for Huxley Jorgensen. Consistent lap times in the high 20s there for the youngster. Three laps left to run. So as they run, Libby Jorgensen leads them. Kayla Adams runs in second. Huxley Jorgensen runs in third. As Huxley Jorgensen just sets his best lap time of the race with a 20.541. So Huxley Jorgensen getting faster as the race goes on. As Libby Jorgensen back into lap traffic now. A slight bubble as she goes around Paige Jordan. So two to run this time round, and they will see the white flag for one to go next time round for your race leader. 4.2 seconds was the gap between first and second. So Libby in the 25 entry just pulling away right now. But Doctor's Jacket at the ready. It'll be one lap left to run this time round for your junior sedan North Queensland title here at the Totally Work Work in Speedway. She has been dominant all night long as the young 14-year-old the daughter of Adam Jorgensen, she has been phenomenal all year long. Hasn't put a foot wrong this entire night. Clean sweeping the heat races and she will take home the North Queensland title for 2023, Libby Jorgensen.
Home in second place, Kayla Adams out of Townsville. In the T32. And the 10 year old out of Townsville, also Huxley Jorgensen. In the 22 machine. She goes four from four heat races and takes out the North Queensland title. Young Livy Jorgensen. She'll grab the checkered flag. Do a lap of honour. We'll see if we can grab a word with her in a moment down on the burnout pad. So on the grandstands, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for your new North Queensland junior sedan. Champion here, Livy Jorgensen. While we wait for Libby to come around, we might just grab a word from uh, her father on the team. And uh, congratulations, guys, on the win for the Wellington. Yeah, thanks, mate. Probably on the mic here. Yeah, uh, yeah. thanks for Riley for um, uh, organising it all and Cairns Club. And um, yeah, thanks for the crowd. Hopefully they enjoyed and uh, bring some kids out. And bring the kids down to pets, guys, because we've got a few posters. And um, Livy and Axley have got some goods for you. So on the hill, ladies and gentlemen, your North Queensland champion, Libby Jorgensen. I'll just crack me, uh, grab a word with Livy now. Uh, congratulations on the, the win tonight and the title. Yeah, thank you. I would like to thank Peter Wright, all my sponsors, Mum and Dad, Nana and Pop and Grandma and Pop, and Cairns for putting on the NQ title for tonight. Congratulations again. Let's go out and see Pete. Right again, one more time, put your hands together for your new North Queensland Junior Sedan Champion, Libby Jorgensen. So they're gonna wrap our presentations down there and move off and be underway with our sprint car feature race coming up in just a moment. So we'll run through their starting order starting. On position number one in tonight's sprint car, A main, Wes Jenkins in the NQ50 will start on pole. On the outside of him, the NQ51 of Brody Davis, your Queensland champion, he will start front row outside. Go back to our second row now, at a position number three, Desmar is in the Q40. On the outside of him, the NQ65 off Gwesen Dalston. Now at a position number five will be the NQ4, Mike Walsh. At a position number six will be Mark Jorgensen in the NQ95. Yeah, I was really proud of myself and I think everyone who put effort into the car was really proud too. And yeah, can't thank all the sponsors enough and mum and dad and Hainsey, Nana and Pop and Grandma and Pop for getting the car here. How many hours do you think it took to prepare everything to come up here? Way too many. Way too many? Yeah. Yeah, so it takes, it takes a lot. People don't realise how much it takes to prepare the car. Eh? Yeah. I think it took like nearly two weeks just to put both cars in and with all of our sports during the weeks and weekends. Yeah, yeah. And 
and uh, the big trophy now. Um, is there just a trash talk that goes with that one? Yeah. What do you, what do you got to say to your, your competitors? Um, you got him? You got, you, got, you got the job done? Yeah, I got the job done, mate. <laughs> How does it feel coming third? <laughs> uh, does the trash talk now start on the way home? or? Was um, probably first thing in the morning when we get in the truck to head back home. Okay. Yeah. And it'll probably lead up until after Dad races for the three grand yeah. to win one. Oh, yeah. yeah. And actually, congratulations on third place, mate. This is your big trophy now. Uh, where do you think the trophy's going to live? Um, in my room, yeah. probably. And this is your biggest one that you've got so far, do you think, in your racing career? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Was it fun racing out there tonight for, a, for a, such a big uh, event? Yeah, it's really fun. Yeah, yeah. And what do you say to, you, to your sister that's got the big, got the win? You say congratulations, or do you say I'm going to get you the next one? I'm going to get you the next one. Okay. All right. All right. Congratulations, guys, for well on the on the win tonight. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Well done.